senior and uh, place kicker. Um, yeah, obviously last weekend was tough. Um, you know, I think as a as a kicker, I just try and do my job, and hopefully I did that to, for the most part. Um, but like I think uh, we got a good group of boys, and you know sometimes the results don't go your way. Um, but I think we have, uh, as far as next game, we have like a winning sort of you know winning mentality here and a routine championship routine. So if we do the right things, which we do every day, I think we will do the right thing this weekend. So yeah, I think the boys are going to bounce back because we're going to have that extra hunger to get the win. And, and show what we're really about. Give us a give us a reader's digest version of how you got here, and you know, had, had you had never played real American football, right? You never, but I mean, you kicked all your life, right? But yeah. And what 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 motivated you to come and, and do this? And you know, go to third. How old are you? I'm 34. 34. Uh, so yeah. yeah. Go ahead. So I played soccer at Florida Tech. Played soccer all my life, ended up playing around the world um, for a few years and and happened to go visit my old, my old coach in Florida. And he happened to say to me, he's like, Florida Tech need a, need a kicker. Are you interested in it? You know, at first I laughed, you know, because you know, I've never played the game before. Always watched the game when I lived here. You know, my five years in Florida, watched the game. Um, Anyway, long story short, I had a tryout the next day and did well and Florida Tech wanted to take me on, offered me a scholarship and the plan was to come back in the summer, train and learn all the fundamentals. And, um, but unfortunately, Florida Tech cancelled their program and you know, I was home in the summer and it was, you know, I tried to find another way and, and luckily CSU Pueblo became an option and you know, really glad, I'm really grateful to be here. So yeah, I basically spent a year training in England on rugby fields, you know, trying to learn the game, watching film, watching other kickers, and just really trying to invest everything I could into the game. And when I got here is where I really learned the necessary skills to be successful in the game. You know, I'm a snapper and holder, and, and I had to learn all, that, all, the, all those kind of things. And, you know, I've worked it every day. You know, it's been my focus, my priority. And, um, so I kind of feel like I'm there now with the coach's help and the team's help. You know, I'm at, you know, I feel comfortable. And it's been a, been a long journey, an interesting journey. But so, so you played four years of soccer? I did. And then, so what, that was right out of high school? So you were what, 20, 21, 22? Yeah. So right. yeah, 12 years where you played some professional soccer and did, did some things. But, how do, how do you get it? How are you eligible? You know, to, is there, is yeah, there so something you, that you can do in other sport? Yeah, where so you, you can get, be you get uh, It's a 10 semester or D2. So I had eight semesters at uh, soccer, and you get two with another sport. So I could no longer play soccer, but there was a, a way I could play another sport. So. so you actually have two years? You can play here for two years? Yeah, and obviously the COVID year, they gave us an extra extra time, um, which is what I've been so, I mean, but I graduate in December. I think it'll be this season, and, and then I'll probably be done. Are you are you are you uh, going for a master's, or what are you doing in educational wise? Yeah, master's degree, um, MBA in, in business. In business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is something I always wanted to do as well, and you know, I always wanted to stay in sport, and you know, I love soccer, but I don't miss it anymore because I've got this to focus on. Love being a kicker and being part of the team. Yeah, don't take any any bit for granted. I suppose you know you mentioned my age. The one thing about being thirty four is I don't take a minute or a moment for granted. Right. You know, every every training session, even being here, every game. You know, I'm emotional after every game because I know that that's one less game. You know, so I have that that I don't take a take a second for granted. A couple other things, I guess. Uh, I've seen you kick the sixty seven yarder in practice with everybody there. You know. In a, on Twitter, and do uh, you have professional, you know, hope, hopes to maybe kick professionally and kick in the NFL? I do, yes. Yeah, it's a, a goal of mine, and I know it's a big goal. Um, but you know, I'm a positive person, and just want to give it my all. And when that time comes, if it doesn't happen, I want to say I look back and gave it my all. And, but that's definitely a goal of mine. So, 
to try and take us further and if I'm lucky enough, then great. You know, but right now I'm focusing on the team, want to do well for the team and have, be successful here first and then, and then the rest of it. And how did you feel when you kicked that 67 yarder in practice and what was the reaction of everybody else? Yeah, gr yeah great, obviously it's <laughs> a great feeling. Um, yeah, I know I have it in me, um, but to do it, I know it's not a, in a game, but I'd love to have a chance, you know, in, in a pressure situation. Um, but to do it in front of the boys and just, you know, show them what I can do, it was nice to see them react. And yeah, it's just, again, I just want to be successful for the boys. And if I can, you know, if I focus on my, I call it my three and a half yards between <laughs> me and the ball, if I, do, if I do my part there, then the rest should be successful. And if I can do that right, then hopefully I can be successful for the, for the yeah, team. I guess last question, do you think we're going to see a 70 yard field goal in the NFL sometime? For sure, yeah. I think or it, maybe even college first. Yeah, I think the record in NCAA 69 in the 70s. You know, I'd love to be able to break that if I get the chance. I know that's, you know, that probably won't happen, but yeah, I think there's so many kicks with the ability to kick 70 and plus. It's only a matter of time before we see, see it in the NFL if they get the opportunity. Um, but yeah, I definitely think we're going to see. Uh, Justin Tucker's record broken sooner than later. Yeah. Well, what is it like being the 34-year-old guy with a lot of these younger, you know, 20-year-old guys? I mean, because I'm 34 also, and you know, we all didn't watch the same cartoons growing up. Like, what what is it like being in there in the locker room with these guys? It's, they keep me young. You know, I, I, uh, it's great. I love being around the boys. You know, they're all young, fit. You know, they all want to achieve. Be successful. You know, I'm lucky to have that. Be surrounded by those people. You know, some of my friends are. They were families now. They have a different life, completely different life to me. And I think it's great what they have. But I, I'm grateful to be surrounded by all these boys that are hungry for success. You know, it keeps keeps me young. Um, yeah. So it's. I know it's. It was. There's moments where it's a, a little bit strange and. Just when I first came, I just wanted to be part of the boys. I didn't want to be the old man, or you know, I just want to be part of the team. And you know, I'm fit and healthy, and wanted to stay that way. And just I wanted to fit in. Um, you know, I've, uh, one of my good friends says he says I'm like I, I camouflage well. I can kind of fit into any situation, and that's what I try and do. Just try and wherever I go, be part of it. And yeah, I've loved it. Like I said, they keep me young. Keep me young, keep me hungry. You know, I want to keep competing. I feel like I've got a lot to give. Age is not a factor when it comes to that, as far as I'm concerned. You know, just trying to be successful. When you guys are kicking it, they make pop culture references. You're just kind of like, what? Is that, that happen a lot? <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what, what do you mean? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe they cite, I don't know. I mentioned cartoons or something. You're like, something that they grew up with, and you're just sitting there like, oh, all the time. Yeah, the time. The music's different, you know. Uh, <laughs> Funny enough, I'm an English person who listens to country music, so that's different, you know. And the, you know, the, soul, the old soccer culture is different to the football culture, and also I've played with a lot of international players. And you know, you come here, and it's you know, it's mostly American, with a few of us dotted in, and you know, I've enjoyed that. But yeah, there's there's tons of times where boys are talking about things. I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> you surprised me? Not. It's not. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, you're good. Yeah. Did you, I mean, uh, how fast did you, did you pick up the game? I mean, you're a kicker, but like when you came to your first practice, were you still learning? Like when they were running, you know, when they were running sets and practice, were you still kind of looking around like, what's going on? Like, <laughs> yeah, I was, I was still learning the game. Uh, first thing I did when I knew I was going to be coming over, I bought a book, <laughs> you know, um, you know, how to play football, really, and read through it and wanted to learn the game even more. And, Yes, <laughs> these boys are laughing. But it's true, you know. I just try to indulge in the game as much as possible. Yeah. So when I first came over, it was, there was lots of new things, and I had to learn it and pick it up quickly. Yeah. So yeah, it took took some time, but you know, I feel like I understand the game well now, and you know, I've been on the sideline and watching the boys do their thing, um, stay invested in it the whole game. Just and so, but yeah, I say I'm still learning. But, I don't think I'll ever stop learning, you know, this, this, this game especially. I have one last question. I apologize ahead of time. Can you say aluminum? <laughs> <laughs> Aluminium. <laughs> <laughs> this is the correct way to say it.
<laughs> Coach said he was kind of tough on you. I'm curious, uh, like at practice, what does that mean? What is he tough on you about? <laughs> You're a kicker. I <laughs> think. <laughs> Wow, Richie. You can say. No, I, I think, uh, and I like this about the position, that comes with being a kicker is a certain amount of pressure and expectation. And it's, it's you miss or you make it. And just as I expect myself to make every kick, so does Coach Riston. And I, and I expect that. You know, and, but pressure is what comes with the position sometimes. Um, I think it's an under, undervalued position, like as a whole. I think we do do you know a big job, especially the whole special teams. You know, I, I can do it without my snapper and holder for sure, and they've been great. Uh, but I think coach just expected a lot of me, and I appreciate that. You know, pressure is a privilege, and I if you're not in a position of pressure, then you're in the wrong place. You know, you're not being successful. I think in order to be successful, you you should be lucky to be in those. Positions. I think coach is just hard on me when I miss some because he knows I should make those ones. And I know that. So, no, I appreciate his, him being tough on me because I think as a kicker, you have to be tough. Yeah. I, I, I want to add <laughs> to this man's credit, he works his tail end off. And I was very lucky to recruit and coach Mason Crosby at CU. And this guy has as much talent as Mason Crosby. If he gets those opportunities, let's see. But he's worked, he's understood. One of the things you didn't realize, when you kick a long field goal, the ball comes back to that spot. So you, I had to explain to him, you just don't line up and kick those field goals because you play the field position game and understand. And so it, it took the little nuances that we take for granted and, and understanding that. But this man has done a great job. So okay, so on that note, is 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 that a thought that you had? Have you thought about you know what I can kick in the pros, I can I can play in the NFL? Like is that a thought that to cross your mind? I mean, uh, like I said, it's a goal of mine. I think you know I I hope I've got the ability. I, I I'm working at it, and I just want to try and work as hard as I can to reach that standard. And if it happens, if I get the opportunity, then. I'm, you know, I'm really grateful if I don't, at least I've worked hard enough to say I gave it my all and it didn't, didn't quite work out. But, you know, I kicked with a few pros over the summer, um, I trained hard, I went to Alabama and, and did some extra work there and, you know, got some good feedback and so it, it gave me some confidence to know that I, you know, potentially could be at that level one day if I, if I keep working hard. Who are the pros kicked with? Uh, so I worked with uh, Ryan Santoso. Um, I think he's at the Lions now. Um, there's a couple of punters out there. The backup guy at the Ravens is Jake Verity. Um, and these are the guys that they still chat to me on Instagram and give me advice and say, you know, season's looking good. And so it's nice to have contact with those guys as well and, and know that they're supportive. Kick, the kicking world's sort of uh, it's our own little club, you know, everyone kind of stands by each other, which is, which is nice. The, the difference that most people are retiring at 34, 35 years <laughs> <laughs> So we've we got to give him a chance to get in there. I think his consistency is coming. I think learning the game with the snapper and holder and the consistency is, is where he's got to go. But he has as much talent as any kicker I've been around. Appreciate it. It's high.